Norman is a railway legend. How often does Norman come along? A blue, blue moon. Norman is a really happy, pleasant gentleman, very kind, very generous. It's just his busky whiskers that uh, have made him so famous, I think. You know, he's so missed. He's part of Twyford Station, <laughs> so uh, I don't know how we'll manage without him. <laughs> yeah, I first met Norman in the mid-1980s when he worked in the parcels office at Reading and our careers have uh, crossed a number of times since and Norman's made a huge contribution at Twyford. The customers absolutely uh, love him and I think uh, he's uh, an epitome of really what working on the railway is all about. To me, Norman is Mr Twyford and I think the sad thing is we didn't clone him and put him on every station. Life isn't a crisis for Norman. He's been here so long, done it, seen it. For so many people, everything is a problem, but for Norman, it isn't. You feel welcome, you know, whether you work here or whether you're someone just passing through. I think a lot of the passengers have actually loved Norman, continue to love Norman, and probably a little bit of our hearts will always be with Norman. Norman is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. It's just amazing, simply amazing. Norman is Mr Twyford. Everybody who comes to Twyford would ask for Norman. He'll solve all their problems. He goes out of his way to help people. There'll never be anybody like Norman ever again anywhere. I think I'm going to have to uh, have a debriefing session with him and just uh, find out everything he can let me know about the station because he'll be very, very much missed by myself and all my colleagues. And everybody knows him. He's a very nice person, I can say all of them for him. Norman is the epitome of what the railway needs. He is a, a railway man, he lives and works as he should, and the public love him. Yeah, there was one occasion where somebody put a paper down in front of me uh, and said, what are you going to do about that? And there was a picture of Norman, and the story was that he'd been winding his clock tower of the church up, uh, as he did on a Thursday afternoon spotted a house on fire, went down and pulled an old couple out of it, uh, waited for the ambulance and fire brigade to turn up and then went back and finished winding the clock tower up. Um, and that, that is the mark of Norman. As Norman enters his retirement, I'd just like to wish him all the very best and ask him to have a rest and enjoy um, you know, what's ahead of him really. I know he wants to do lots of travelling, so we hope to see him out and about on the network and all the best to Norman. Norman, thanks so much for all your service. You've been an absolute pleasure to see you on the station at Twyford. Uh, wish you all the best in your retirement and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll come back soon and see us all. Thank you very much indeed. I wish you a very, very long and very, very happy retirement and, um, and many thanks for everything you've done for, for local people. Norman, have a wonderful time and thank you for everything, making our journeys into the office every day that much more special. There was a thing on Facebook that had a picture of him and said, he's retiring soon. We're like, oh no, he holds a train for us. How are we going to get to college on time? But yeah, <laughs> he's a lovely lad. You'll enjoy your retirement, Norm. It's the best thing ever invented. Hi, Norman. Thanks for always being a nice person around the train station. Have a good retirement. I really hope you enjoy your retirement. I'm sure you will. And thank you from all of us. I'm going to miss you coming in in the afternoon, wanting to change for your tenner for the taxi, five and five ones. And also I've got one other problem. Who's going to get my paper in the morning now you've gone? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to say uh, congratulations to Norman. That's a brilliant achievement and he'll be really sorely missed. The railway's going to struggle without you, Norman. We need more like you. God bless you. Have a happy retirement. I'd just like to say he's an amazing guy. I've worked with him for 15 years now. I still can't believe he's actually going and I want to wish him all the best. It will be tough to imagine life at Twyford without Norman, but we wish him the very best in retirement. I'm sure we'll carry on uh, seeing him on the train in and out of uh, Henley. So we wish Norman a happy retirement. 
couple of days ago, Norman asked if he, uh, once he's finished his annual leave, if he could uh, come back out of retirement because he'd be fed up by then. Uh, unfortunately, Norman, the answer is no, you're retired, so get on with it and enjoy it. Norman, if anybody could make a train run, you could make a train run. Many of us are really grateful for the connections you held for us and we hold you in very high esteem on the branch line. I know the Queen recognised you and we recognise you, Lord Norman of Twyford, and wish you a very happy retirement. Happy retirement, Norman. It's been fantastic working with you and it's time to hang up that heart and look after number one. Uh, P.S. Make sure you get them knees done um, and don't be a stranger. Okay, you take care. Happy retirement, Norman. Love you.